Hello! Today I'm showing you how to sculpt Orchid and for that I started to mix some translucent white and translucent pink together by simply cutting through them to get some small dots. However, if I had to redo it, I would use some less translucent white as I think it would have looked prettier at the end if it weren't as translucent as it is. But now it's done and it still looks fine and I have enough to make enough orchids for my artwork on the Indonesian deforestation, so it will have to do. Of course you can use other colors as well. There are many orchids out there, many are spotted, some are not. The technique will be the same, you're just going to make maybe a simpler first cane. I then made a ball of all the dotted, the dotted pink white and put some white around which I pushed inside so it wasn't a straight. And now I'm adding pink lines inside the orchids. And I'm using a blade so always be careful with the blade. Blades cut people and not the other way around. As you can see, I've cut myself, not with blades though. It, I, I don't, I don't really know. I just, I think my skin was too dry, so it started to bleed, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but nonetheless true. And I also had a remaining miniature table that was broken, and I had some piece of glass, and I, I pushed my hand in, inside of it. So it was very hurtful. Not sure this is really something you should say in a video, but it just happened. Which explains why I'm wearing the band-aid on my hand. It's always the hand you use the most that gets hurt, which is always annoying. And as you see, for the cane I I am shaping it into a petal and now, and now I'm simply reducing the cane. So it's the size of the petal I want. So just be sure when you're reducing canes to not squish the design. So simply push on all sides and pull the cane until you have the desired size. There are many orchids in Indonesia and in the rainforest. I was actually quite surprised by it. It's a very... Um, orchids are really a rain, rainforest flower. And you see many beautiful exemplars all around the world, actually. So it's a nice, it's a nice flower to work on. And orchids usually have five petals. I don't, I don't know if they. Um, maybe there are orchids who have more than five petals. I haven't checked that, but most have just five petals and three are on the back and two are a bit on top and then you have a tiny bunch of three mini petals I shall say that are up front and then you have a tiny little blob <laughs> god it's so scientific <laughs> um, in the center I have no clue how it's called and, and I don't I can't really check on Wikipedia right now because I'm watching the video and and iMovie tends to be really slow so it just it can crash down so I don't I don't want to for it to crash so I'm just I'm not going to check it now. Ever probably. And since I'm making these flowers for the rainforest, I made a bunch of them because apparently they often grow in bunches, which make them really pretty. So I just added a few here and there. Those tiny balls that I'm adding, it's just so the two petals stand out and don't fall down. It's very pink, so I suppose you could use it for Valentine's Day, which I always forget about. I <laughs> just was reminded by a friend. I never really do anything on Valentine's Day, I don't know for you, I mean, I have a boyfriend and all, but we just never really celebrate that kind of holidays. Mostly because we never think of them, but I, I don't know. 
My mom used to offer me a rose, which I always thought it was really sweet. And she was, she would always say that Valentine's Day is for the people you love. And so she would offer me a rose. So that was really cute. And after baking, because as I said, it ended up to be more translucent than, uh, than I thought. I added a bit of white paint to highlight the edges a little bit more. So if you make a first petal with some true white and not as translucent as mine, then you might not need to do that. It, it really is going to depend on the colors you are choosing and how you're going to work on that. So I suggest that you just go with the flow and then at the end maybe add some white, maybe don't add some white, it's really up to you. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked it give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, don't forget to comment and share to support this channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!